Homemade pies are packed with old-fashioned goodness. This week, we featured sweet potato and pumpkin pie, but today, it's all about apple pie tartlets and their tradition that comes with each bite. Chef Deborah Queen is back to share her incredible recipe. Hello, Chef Queen. Hello, darling. Always nice to Thank have you, you here. Good to be here. Uh, yep. So we are making not the whole apple pie, just no. a little tartlet of We're it. We're doing little tartlets. Yeah, I do a lot of these for my dinner parties, like little handheld Everyone things. Everyone likes bite-sized things anyway, Yeah, right? everybody wants to Because you have two different sizes everything. there. I made like the kid size after school snack size, I guess you might say. And then, you know, for you and I, we only want a little taste, but we don't want too many calories. Sure. Uh, they are low fat, light, and, you know, uh, the big one is only uh, about 100 calories, and the small ones are about 15 or 20. Oh, that's not bad. So you at can all. eat a couple of those, you know, really. And I did them with the wonton wrappers. So that's what we're going to do is put together little pilots. Okay. Um, this is the um, filling that we're going to do. And so I cut up some apples now, to show you. Any specific type of apple you like to use? Uh, this is great with Fuji or Gala, you know, because they're sweet and um, soft and they're not like too tart mm -hmm. and they're not too mushy. Okay. So they don't get like applesauce as soon as you cook them. But they are quick and easy. This takes about five to ten minutes at the most. Have all your mise en place, as we say. So have all your things <laughs> measured out. And then all you're going to do is um, just start these apples, and you're going to add your little ingredients here. So okay. if you want to put the, to, toss that all in together. a little cinnamon sugar? That's cinnamon and nutmeg. Cinnamon and nutmeg. Yeah. You told me that. Yeah. <laughs> this is organic cane juice, which has been evaporated. Um, you know, if you can get uh, sustainable, you know, fair trade kind of uh, sugar is better. And uh, that is cornstarch. You okay. could use arrowroot or flour, I suppose, but flour kind of leaves a heavier... Uh, taste on your palate, and that is a little jigger of uh, vanilla. vanilla great. I like Tahitian vanilla, but you can use any kind. And then this is local apple juice. Oh, good! You know, we like using local products. Yeah, right? so we definitely want to put some local apple juice in there, and then we just stir it around, let it cook around a little bit for, like I say, five to ten oh, minutes. It smells delightful. It's it smells already like smelling fall and like Thanksgiving, right? right? Thanksgiving, yeah, <laughs> we love that smell and uh, home style smell. So. This is Himalayan salt. I use quite a lot of this. We sell this at Chef's. Uh, you know that I do a live cooking demo at Chef's yes. in Wallingford on Thursdays and in Berlin at the new store on Sundays. Every Sunday I'm there. And we have so much fun. It's Thank awesome. You. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday nights I teach a class there too. Oh, really? So How if do you anyone's sign up for it? You just Shall call up? the store, oh, okay. email, you know, get online and check out Chef's. Uh, uh, Berlin, uh, but you're gonna uh, okay. grate a little bit of this Himalayan and salt. And you said this salt is very unique because yeah, it is mined from the Himalayan mountains. It's uh, not a sea salt, uh, but it has a real mineral, a high mineral c content. Uh, over 80 trace minerals in here, and iron, high high in iron. So if anyone Keep wants going, to, a little in, bit more. Yeah, you can put a little bit more in there. Now, if they start to get dried out a little bit, um, you can add a little bit of water, uh, but you know, you'll just let those simmer a little while, and the salt actually brings out the sweetness. Oh, I didn't realize of the that. apples. Yeah. So now we're going to put together a couple. Okay, okay. Good. So over here is the large wonton skin, and you want to keep that uh, covered with a damp towel. Usually, you put It'll plastic. It'll dry out otherwise. Is it that? does. It okay. gets real crispy, and you can't work with it. See how nice and pliable it is, though. It's wonderful to work with. Okay. So you're going to take first. You're going to moisten your fingertips. Okay. The three fingers. Uh, you could use a brush if you want, but you know, we're old fashioned, so we just use the fingers. And um, you just go around all four edges, just in about a fourth of an inch. Okay. Um, get your filling and put some filling right in, in the there. Right in the middle? Yeah, in the, down towards the lower third. Okay. So don't go too close to the edge because that's where you're going to seal. Okay. So two or three um, nice go goops of that. With three cups of apples after you've cooked it down, is enough for um, we go. Uh, six wonton. How'd I Skins. Do? You Not did bad? wonderful. Okay, good. So here's what you're going to do next. You're just going to fold it over. It's all wet, remember. Okay, so I'm folding this Yeah, way? and the wet edges act as a glue, oh, so to speak. We call it glue. Uh, and you just fill that in. Now am I pushing down the sides? Um, you you want to start here mm -hmm. and kind of push the arrow a little bit and kind of make a little pocket. Oh, okay. You know, and then you're going to take Why a Why are my apples coming out the end? Oh, they, that'll be okay. Okay. You just got to kind of start at the edge and push in. <laughs> so but you ravioli know, kind seal of it around. Kind of, you can actually make raviolis with wonton skins. Yes, you can. Oh. Um, if you get a fork out of your drawer there, okay. um, all you're going to do now is um, 
just take your fork and sort of crimp the edges. Just push down as hard as you can around the edges. Okay. It has to be a fork in here. Sure. Uh, if not, we will improvise. We're going to have to improvise because actually, Chef Queen, we're running out of time. Okay. But what do you do with these okay. once they're done? Do you throw once them in the oven? Once they're done, you put either a little bit of egg wash on them, okay. which is here. Um, you can do the finger thing. Just do the little That's egg gonna wash. That's going to give it a nice shine, right? Yeah, it makes it beautiful when it comes out of the oven. Or you can use like a little spray. Okay. You know, olive oil or something like that. And then uh, I like to do some little uh, streusel topping on there if you like. Or just a little cinnamon sugar. Very nice. Like that. And then you just pop them into the oven. And the next thing you know, they're done. All right, the recipe is going to be over on WTNH.com. And we're going to try the Chef Queen at the end of the show. They look beautiful. Coming up next, the soulful yep. sounds of Chris Wolf. That's when sound returns. Don't go anywhere. Thank